Hello everybody and a good day to you all. Today I am talking about Riverdale, episode number four, chapter four, The Last Picture Show. In this episode here, we have some a lot of things going down. Well, we have two main stories. You have the um the Riverdale um drive through theater is being shut down. It's gonna be closing down. Is is not bringing in the right crowd, and it's bringing down the property value. So it's going to get shut down. It's going to get shut down. It's going to close. And you have Jughead, who loves this theater, who worked at this theater, and he has a lot of shared memories with his family at this theater. He's fighting for it because to him, this is all his happy memories getting taken away. It's like somebody has ripped ripped went inside of his chest and ripped out his heart. And he cannot have that. He said, no, no, no. And he's fighting. He's trying to do everything in his power to make sure that this theater stays alive and stays open. And then you have the main event, the main story, because you have Archie and Miss Grundy getting it on hot and heavy. She's teaching Archie the ways of life. Yes. Yes, she is. And, well... It, it gets out. Betty finds out. Betty's mom finds out. Veronica finds out. And then, to top it off, Archie's father finds out. Yeah. They all know. Yep, 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 yep. But to all, to that, and, and, and you find some other things too. You find out about Jughead's family. And you find out about where he was staying, which was really messed up. You find out about Veronica and her mom and what her mom is up to and what she and what in the dealing she have with um some bad people and with the mayor. Yeah. You find out there too. So that was pretty much going on in, in this episode right here. And I have to say another great episode from Riverdale. It's, it just gets better and better each episode. Um you, you just you, they're exploring more of the characters, learning more about them. I mean, a lot of the same old things, but especially with Betty's mom, because she's still crazy, and she has a pretty much a hard on for Archie. She hates him with a passion, for, for reasons I don't. She, well, she pretty much like pretty much replaced on her older daughter and what happened to her, and, and put it all on Archie, like cause, just because they, they both have red hair, so therefore he must be evil too. Oh, crap! But I have to tell you one thing: if you didn't learn anything from this. You know this much. Betty is loyal. Holy mother. If you get Betty on your side, you have a friend who will stick by you no matter what. I mean, good Lord. I mean, Archie has not been treating her really the best, but she has been standing by him no matter what. First episode, pretty much Archie pretty much told her to her face that he's not in love with her. She's still hung up there. She said, I got you. I got you. I'm okay. I still want to be your friend. She finds out that Archie is sleeping with a teacher. Sleeping with a teacher. And she's like, I still got your back, boo. I'm still on your side. I'm still Team Archie. I will take the bullet if I have to to make sure you okay. I just, what in the world? What does Archie got to do to make sure? Archie probably can kill a man. And she says, I'll help you hide the body. I'm still on your team. That, wow. Wow, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing or if that's healthy or, or any way. I'm not sure it is. I'm not sure it's a healthy relationship. She's a little upset. She might be a little crazy. But she has, she, she has some signs that she's not completely mentally well. So the fact that she's so obsessed with Archie and so willing to go, go distance with them, I'm not so sure it will end well with this. I don't know at all. But, uh But overall, like I said, another great episode. I enjoyed it a whole lot. I enjoyed the reveals, learning more about each of the characters, especially about Veronica's mom, knowing what's going up there. And on a brighter note, Kevin gets a boyfriend. But he's a bad boy. He's on the wrong side of the tracks. Now, I don't think his father is going to approve of this when he finds out that his, that his son, who he loves and cares for, didn't find a nice, good gay boy like he wanted him to find. He found a, a, well, a thug. Yeah. Let's see how well that goes. I don't think it's going to go well. Because his father's a cop. And now, he, now his son is going with a criminal. Oh, great. 
They always go for the bad boys. I don't understand it. Why do you always go for the bad boys for? You can't find a nice little gay boy to go to go with. I mean, I, of course he's the, he's nice. You can find somebody else out there who's on the right track as you. Something. I guess opposite track. It, it is what it is. The heart the heart wants what the heart wants. I can't do nothing about that. So yeah. Oh well. I'm not sure it's going to end well, but maybe it might turn out to be the best thing ever. Who knows? Let's see where it goes. Well, like I said, overall, great episode. Really did enjoy it. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought of this episode of Archie. And if you have any theories or thoughts about who did the shooting, who did, leave your comments down below. Well, that's all I got to say about that. So give my channel a big old like, hit the thumbs up. Boom. And subscribe to my channel and share. I really would appreciate it, like I always say in my dreams in real life. I am... The Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out. A uh, people.